Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell para ma-notify ka sa mga bagong video tutorials ko. Welcome to another episode of Business Math Tutorials for ABM Senior High School Students. This is your teacher, Ma'am Salgado. So here are the answer to the practice set from the previous video. Please check how did you do. Congratulations on getting the correct answer! Today's lesson, we're going to have conversion of fraction to decimal to percent and vice versa. For the learning competency, we have express fractions to decimals and percent forms and vice versa and illustrate how decimals and fractions can be written in terms of percent. The objectives of the lesson for today is at the end of the lesson, the learners will be able to convert fraction to decimal and percent, and convert decimal to fraction and percent, and convert percent to decimal and fraction. So how do we change fractions to decimals? To express fractions into a decimal form, we perform division. So just simply divide the numerator by the denominator. For example, so 1 half, let's convert it to decimal, so just simply divide. So 1 divided by 2, so 1 divided by 2 cannot be, so that will be 0, and 0 times 2 is 0, and so 1, and 2, 0 here, so 10 divided by 2 is 5, and 5 times 2 is 10, so there's no remainder, so 1 half equal to 0. 5 in decimal. Let's have another example. So we have 3 and 5 over 3. So since this is an x fraction, we have to convert it or is to an improper fraction. So 8 times 3 is 24 plus 5 is 29. Then divided by or over 8. Then to convert, so just simply divide them. So we will have 29 divided by 8. So, 29 divided by 8, so we have 3. So, 3 times 8 is 24. Then subtract 29 times 24 is 5. Then add 0. So, 50 divided by 8 is 6. 6 times 8 is 48. And we will have 2. And add another 0. So, 20 divided by 8 is 2. Then we have 16. Then last is 4. So 4, add another 0. So 40 divided by 8 is 5. And then 5 divided by 8 is 40. So minus 40, that is 0. So the final answer is, so 3 and 5, 8, convert to decimal is 3.6. Five. How do we change fraction to percent? To express fraction into percentage, we express first fraction into decimal. The resulting decimal would just be multiplied by 100% or move the decimal point two places towards the right.
Okay, so let's take the example earlier. So it says that to convert fraction to percent, you have to convert the fraction first to decimal, then convert it to percent. So earlier we have the example one half, which is equivalent to 0.5. So to convert the decimal to percent, so just multiply it by 100%. So we have 0 0.5 times 100%. So that will be, so this count, so that's 50%. So for the second example earlier, so we have 3 and 5 over 8 is equal to 3.6. Five. So, to convert to percent, so we have 3.625 times 100%. So, the answer is 362.5%. So, it says multiply by 100% or we could just simply move the decimal point two times to the right so one two that's why you have 362.5 percent how do we change decimals to fraction to convert decimal into fraction we use a denominator of 1 followed by a number of 0 based on the number of decimal places of the decimal number. Use the decimal number without its decimal point as the numerator. For example, so let's have 0 0.45. So to convert to fraction, so let's remember so the placement for the decimal. So this is the tenths. tenths place and this one is the hundreds so since we have hundreds so this is read as 45 hundreds so it means that our fraction is 45 hundreds so this is not yet the final answer since we can simplify it so, the common is 5. So, 45 divided by 5 is 9. 100 divided, five, uh, divided by 5 is 20. So, our final answer is 9 over 20. Another example. So, 0 0.625. So, convert to fraction. So, again, 6 is the tenths, 2 is hundreds, and 5 is thousands. So this is read as 625 thousands. So it means that the fraction is 625 thousands. So we can simplify this so to simplify common is 125 so 625 divided by 125 is 5 1000 divided by 125 is 8 so our final answer is 5 8. How do we change non-terminating repeating decimals to fractions? So to convert a non-terminating repeating decimal to a fraction, you can use algebra.
Okay, so for repeating decimals, so let's have for example 0 0.666 where 6 is repeating. So we can have, or we could represent 0 0.666 by x since we are going to use algebra. And if we multiply both sides by 10, we will have 6.666, so it still continues, and we will have 10x. Then we could evaluate the 2, so we will have 10x minus x, so that will be 6.666 minus the x is 0 0.666. So we could cancel this. So we will have 10 minus x is 9x equals 6. Then, so divide both sides by 9. So we have x equals 6 over 9. So we still have to simplify it. So the common is 3. So that will be. Two thirds. So our final answer is two thirds. How do we change percent to decimal? To convert a percent to a decimal, move the decimal point two places to the left or divide it to 100, then remove the percent symbol. So percent to decimal, so let's have for example, so we have 50. So it says that we just have to move the decimal point two times to the left and then remove the percent. So let's have 50. So the decimal point is at the last. So move to the left. So this would be the decimal point. So 50% will now be equivalent to 0 0.50 or 0 0.5. Let's have another example. So let's have 30.56%. So again, it says two places to the left. So 30. Point 56% is 0 0.3056 Now it's your turn to practice. Complete the given table below. Okay, that's it for today. I'll give the answer on the next video. Before we end today's video, here is some thoughts to ponder. A dot story or decimal numbers. Why should I love you? Ask the number. The dot blushed and said, I have the confidence that I could give your existing figure a meaning, a precision. By Pani Leon. Thank you for today. See you in our next lesson. Bye!